Well, good morning. You know, I would imagine that some of you guys have got some pretty cool jobs. Firefighter, airline pilot, maybe you manage a feed store in Arkansas. In any event, if I had the chance, I'd enjoy spending the day with you. See what you do. And that way, I'm a little bit like the guy that does dirty jobs. I just like to work. And I like to see what people do for work. And I like to see how they do their work. If you're an insurance agent, I'd wear a cleaner orange shirt. Be right there with you, buddy. If you're a proctologist, I may have to go get coffee three or ten times. <laughs> um, but conversely, maybe you would enjoy spending a day with me. So that happens to be today. You get to go with me on a boxcar door repair job. Now this uh, came up in the last day or two. Mrs. ETR and I went to look at it a couple evenings ago just so I knew what I was getting into. You should never go on one of these jobs if you don't have pictures or a really clear idea because you'll get fooled. I went one time on when they said the, the door was off the track. It was on the ground leaning against the building. That's what they meant by off the track. In any event, um, you, you get to go with me today if you want to go. So let's uh, get ready to go. Uh, we are going to meet Isaac there because of the complexity of, the, of this. I think we're going to need uh, the three of us. And um, do you remember the show Bewitched? Blink, blink, blink. Or I Dream a Genie. I think she snapped her fingers. Anyway, watch this. Yeah. White Castle breakfast sandwich. Well, let's get on the road. Let's go see what it takes to put a boxcar door back in the track. And uh, thanks for being with me today. Maybe someday I'll get to go to work with you. Who knows? Well, Isaac and I are on scene, and here's what you get. This is a plug door that's probably was hit on the inside with a fork truck, or they dropped a roll of paper. But look at this, both rollers down here are off and we're out in the middle of nowhere. Can't quite get the truck backed up to it, although we may have to make that happen. But we're gonna see if we can lift up on the door, adjust the rollers, lift up on the rollers and put all this back on the track. Now the reason this is done is because this car cannot travel the road with these doors hanging like this. Huge no-no. It's got to be repaired in place, or you could possibly... See, a plug door swings out. I'm coming toward us. This door swings out as it moves over. So it's actually hanging outside the dimension of the car. In any event, you might be able to weld tabs and weld this thing in place to go to the shop, but that's not the best. The best is if we can get this thing to close and lock. It may still need to go for repairs, but if we can get it to close and lock, we're done here today. Thanks for coming along. Well, Isaac and I were just talking about, this is kind of caveman-ish, but you know what? The world needs problem solvers and you've only got X amount of resources to solve a problem. So with some particularly good cribbing, a hydraulic rail jack, an El Cheapo Porta Power. We have this first door uh, very close to back on. We kind of stopped for a brief high five. Thanks for your help today. Keep your hard hat on and stay clear because this is heavy duty stuff. Um, we went up top to see where our room was, made some calculations, and then put a little more pressure on it. Stand by. <laughs> There we go. Well, about a half hour ago, we were not discouraged, but I would say perplexed. But now we're one third of the way done. And we've got technique and we've got all the tools out. And we've got momentum and our spirits are soaring. <laughs> not sore as in hurt, soaring as in eagles. The key distinction there. Here, lean forward, let's see the eagle. Yeah, the <laughs> eagle is soaring. What would any East Terminal Railway job be without the ETR safety cone? So 
So Isaac and I have decided this is the way that the Egyptians built the pyramids. <laughs> <laughs> Leverage, fulcrum, roller. So uh, we're making progress. We're onto the second door. This is a little innovative pull right here we've got, but that's what it's going to take to get this thing around and in. So what we've done here, we really like these oak wedges because they allow you to push without kicking out. So right now we've got that one just really ready to pop in. So we're getting faster. Now this car will probably still go to the home shop to have the doors inspected. But honestly, after we put them on, they may roll freely and not need anything. Almost two thirds done. Yeah, go ahead and hit it. Okay, now let down. Yep. There you go. Now one more hit and it's in. Oops, now the other side. Boy, I'm glad that didn't pop out. Yeah. There. Nice. Okay. So we'll leave the jack in the middle. That was our plan for productivity. Jack the door once and move this set up. Now we'll move this setup down there and uh, might take a moment to sip some White Castle coffee. Not the best in the world, but certainly iconic. It'll get her done. Well, I'm a person of faith and the sun is shining and I think our Heavenly Father maybe blessed us as well with this going way better than we thought it would. So that just popped in. So Isaac's going to let down on the port of power. That'll leave it suspended right there. And then we'll do that uh, muted hammer blow to knock it on the track. And then we'll clear all our stuff away and see if the doors roll and close and lock. Because they have to lock. Boy, look at the guns on that young man. <laughs> It is sports fans okay let off on that new track jack i got that in south carolina didn't know that the tank was cracked so that's a makeshift <laughs> i'm embarrassed to say but that's a grapefruit i like that peeled grapefruit you know what i mean you don't have to fight peeling grapefruit you just have somebody else do it for you anyway that's the container so uh, now if this thing will roll and lock, we're done. So we're going to take a minute and clear all this stuff away. We'll be back. Wind that thing down. Yeah, that's it. Now rotate it back counterclockwise. It will right there and flip that lock down. Will it go? Yep, there you go. Okay, now we're going to pull. In fact, go ahead and pull. Take that two by four out and then pull that one. Okay, that's start cranking the handle now and we'll see. I think it's, see in that mechanism right up there, it rotates these bars yeah. and pulls the door in. That's why it's called a plug door because it's gonna plug that gap. See, what we're looking at is, is that going to hit? Whoa, it didn't. It did not hit. Well, no, that's not going to go in there either. Now, I think this car is going back for repair. So that adjustment's not too much of our problem. But take, take this 6x6 six six right here. Wham, right there. Okay, crank on it again. <coughs> Excuse me. I bet that was loud. I'll get comments about that. 
Uh, now we're going past. Go, go back the other way a little bit. Oh, there it's cranking in. Keep going. See what happens. Okay, there it's coming back out. You know what? This this being bent is a little bit of that problem. And see that turnbuckle up there? Yeah. That's where you adjust that. Yeah. So whether we do that or not, I, I, I don't know. I am going to stop the camera and wedge a spud bar right in there and push. And that's going to allow him to get that dog in there. And then uh, we've done the emergency repair. It's not really the goal to clean, adjust, lubricate, re-stencil. The, that's the car owner's problem. Our problem was, the problem that was given to us is solving the it won't roll on the road to get repaired problem. I pried right there. The door went closed. Now all the dogs are locking in. Watch right there. Here, let me move a little closer. We got the camera plugged into the Dorsey flashlight. You know what? That's you're right there because see how the lock flips down yep. yeah so ooh, did yep that hit there they're all in i mean that door is about what every other door is like i don't even know that it needs to go for repair but that's what i'll tell the railroad that i think it could be it could stay in service now here's the issue the the national boxcar fleet <clears throat> takes a beating the doors the to me the doors are like a game of hot potato it's whoever gets stuck with the door when it goes bad so they just keep they load it and send it on because they don't want to be the one that got stuck with the hot potato anyway let's gather up the etr safety cone load safely drive back out of the woods and uh, go on and do some more to our day. I may film a little bit more, but essentially this job's wrapped up. I don't know if you guys are impressed or unimpressed, but here's what it took in the end. When they hit that door with the fork truck, they bowed the door. They, I think they bent that bottom corner. I think if you put a straight edge on that door, it actually near the bottom has got a bow in it. And this is what it took to get the door closed to get that down in. So with nothing to push against and no way to pull from the other side, we set this up. Of course, tightening this pushes that way. Then that went down in there. So these are closed and latched. Uh, every, make sure every tab is in its home. Because I want them to say, dang, those guys do good work. And how did they do it? It's like they were never here, but voila, it's done. Okay, well that's the end of today's Take Your Friend to Work Day. I'm glad you were here with me. And uh, we got her done. We, we didn't know how, but in the end we got her done. Thank you for your help. If you ever have a Take a Friend to Work Day, eh, invite me. Maybe I could go. That'd be fun. Until next time. Well, there's the railroad rolling by. They're not in here to get this car today, but they'll be back, maybe tomorrow. And another day ends on the ETR.